What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the THC Temple, and check this out, because today we're going to be talking about whether kids should have to worry about their parents, and not even to say worry about their parents, but when they get to a certain um, point in their life, or when they grow up, so to say, grow up, because this is kind of tending not to be like, um, this isn't like, you know, if you're like fucking, what, 30, in your 30s or something, and your parents are on a deathbed or something like that, or, you know, like, no-brainers. This is literally, you know, like when your kids get to an of age where they're working or making money. Money or some shit so the kids have to you know worry about the finances of the family you know the entire family the mom and dad and shit like that and this topic kind of what happened to my but either way y'all hear that right now but either way fucking this topic comes to me or comes to my attention because uh, a, a recent here in recent news, you guys probably know Soldier Boy. You know you all crank that Soldier Boy, all that shit. He's kind of like crazy in the head now. But uh, you know he like runs around talking about yeah, nigga, I'ma pop you in the neck with the Draco, Big Soldier, all that type of shit. And you know the man's kind of loopy. But um, he came a long way from just bubble gum. You know crank that woo to do. But. My whole point of it is, like, here recently, and like I said, he's been in the news recently for a whole bunch of uh, fuckery, and just here recently, like, he was talking about his mom, like, his mom and his little brother were, like, going at him, and they were kind of upset, because uh, I think there was, like, it was some shit, like, Soulja Boy, like, well, Soulja Boy's mom was uh, saying, you know, she's still in the hood, she's still, you know, broke and poor and all types of shit like that, and it's kind of, you know, ah. The only thing, put it this way, like, Soldier Boy, you know, like I said, a week ago, he had gotten a whole bunch of, not a week ago, like a month or some change ago, he got in a whole big thing with Chris Brown, and like I said, you know, he was talking about shooting up half the uh, niggas in the rap game, the Migos, Chris Brown, all these folks, and he made a video saying, you know what, man, my mom's in the hospital, I'm gonna take it easy, man, because I don't want to hurt her heart or whatever, whatever, and she came back with that video like, nigga, fuck you, I'm broke as hell, and so... Like I said, getting to the meat and potatoes of why I'm talking about it. They were talking about it on the radio. And, you know, the general consensus where, you know, it was half people kind of like, hey, man, fuck his mom. You know, she won't with him in the studio, you know, making those tracks and making this and that. And the other half was kind of like, hey, man, you know, that's my boy mama. You know, no matter what your mama do to, you know, you're supposed to always look out for her and take care of her. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, there's some confusion somewhere. You know, there's two sides to it. So, you know, here at the THC Temple, man, I don't never want you guys to be confused about nothing. So, let's go ahead and tackle. And I'm going to just tell you guys what I think, you know what I'm saying? I'm not right about everything, you know what I'm saying? But this is literally just my opinion. You guys can tell me what you guys think, and we can go from there. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So... When it comes to something like this, man, and it's something, you know, I've always, like I said, this is something I've always thought about, too, because it is a good question. And the way I see it, man, <coughs> um, you know, like, when you're growing up, you know, and because, like I said, you know, I, I have friends and shit, you know, where as soon as they got a job, you know, they're helping out the family and, you know, paying for this, paying for that. And there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Now, there is something wrong with it. Like, it's bad. Of course, you wouldn't want to be in a situation like that. But there's nothing like, it's not like the parents are evil or, you know, something's fucked up about that situation, you know? Fucking ever since, I, I would say, well, well, you know, like, since the Great Depression. I would say, because, you know, it's probably always been in history. But, you know, since, like I said, the Great Depression, like, fucking, what, the 20s and stuff like that. That's That was a long time ago, but still. You know, basically, I'm just trying to pinpoint it back to a time where it started like that in America. Because, you know, at points, most points, fucking ignoring, like, the slave history and all that other stuff. Just try the a basic American family. We're not going too hard in American history today. There was a point in time, pretty sure, you know, it was the dad. And, you know, he went to work and made all the money. And mom, she mostly stayed home and took care of the kids. Kids went to school. You know, it was basically those jobs and those certain roles. You know, it didn't really go out of the norm too much. Unless somebody, like I said, went to war or somebody died. You know, some crazy stuff. But you look at it nowadays, and not even just say nowadays, because nowadays, you know, it's still, you know, the same, you know, dad, mom, this and that, or maybe it's switched up a little bit. But like I said, if you look at it, like I said, it, it, when it probably started around the time when the economy got real fucked up in this country, where the kids role now is to basically do whatever you can. Go to school too, 
but please, you know, kind of try and work too so you can bring some money into the family. And a lot of times, you know, you probably heard tales or, you know, people's family stories where they're like, oh yeah, you know, I had to uh, leave school when I was nine years old or leave school when I was uh, three and a half and, you know, fucking support the family or some shit like that. So that's what I'm saying, you know, I, that's why I, you know, brought up the Great Depression because that's probably, you know, around the time when the economy got real fucked up here in America. You know, that's probably where it started to get like that, where the kids had to pull a whole lot more of the rope or uh, uh, more of the load and now getting into the day's speaking terms um so you know especially okay let's you know go to the scenario you know if you have money you know you're not just like 16 year old with a job and the family's kind of doing bad off because you know like i said you know in, in that case you know i'm helping out you know i would help but you know i agree with it and i just say i agree with it you know like i said hopefully you know, like, as a parent, and this is, like, I'm gonna probably tackle this at the end of the video, but the reason I kind of look at it like this and why I say, because I kind of think that it's wrong, you know, for the parents to kind of look for their kids to, you know, support the family. Like I say, if your family's doing bad off of you, know that, and you're, like I say, you're, like, you should, of course, you help, but... You know, if you're like 18, 19, you know, and you know, you're at that point in life where you're trying to build your own life and start your own thing, you know, say so it's going to be really hard for you to support yourself and try to support your family at the same time. So, you know, sometimes you have to pull away from supporting your family so you can build yourself up and then you'll have a lot more to give to your family. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of my whole point. So, like I said, I'll tackle, you know, that a lot more in the end. Because, like I said, I just think that it's kind of wrong. Like I said, let's get back to the scenario where you have money. If you have money, you know, like, let's say you have, you know, a good amount of money. Let's take it back to the Soldier Boy scenario. And a lot of people, you know, were saying, oh, man, you know. And for one, like, let me just say this. If you're an entertainer and you base, like, your whole image off of, yeah, we get money. Yeah, I got all these uh, diamonds and chains on and all of that. You can't. You can't. Like, you literally can't have any kind of money problem. Your family can't have money problem. Like, that just fucks up your image. Like I said, you know, if you're if somebody was a rapper, you know, they can have a mom that was fucking homeless. You know, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't necessarily, okay, for one, if your mom's homeless, you know, that would, like, come on, man. Like, there's a limit. But that's kind of my thing, you know, because, you know, most people, you know, they kind of say, you know, you should do it just because, you know, that's your mom. She brought you into this world. That's your dad. You know, that's your this and that. That's your parents. And I kind of like, that's the, the, my only beef with this whole thing. And that's why I'm kind of, my whole reason for making this video, everything, that's my whole beef with the whole you should do it statement. Because I think people a lot of times, they say, you know, you should help your parents and you should do this just because they are your parents. I mean, you know, they brought you into this world. I think, it, like, I hate that for the most part. Because nine times out of ten, the reason I'm here is because my parents wanted raw sex. You know what I'm saying? Mom wants some raw dick. My dad wants some raw pussy. You know, that's literally how I got here. It's not like they were like, oh, man, let's, you know, we're going to, like, they planned it out, mapped it all over the world. Some of y'all might be some planned babies. I was not. You know what I'm saying? I know I was up. That doesn't mean, like, I'm going to fucking have a grudge against my parents because they didn't plan me out. I'm like, oh, y'all didn't care. Y'all just raised me because y'all had to. But literally, I mean, that's the responsibilities of a parent. If you bring something into this world, raise it and, you know, make it get to a point where it can sustain itself and you know be a, a healthy and contributing uh, c uh, citizen of society and that's where it kind of brings back to that whole point of you know like if your kid is growing up and they're so focused on you know helping and supporting you and help you know trying to get you to do your job because this is mad okay like I'm 21 I just turned 21 and it's a, let's say my parent in this scenario is 20 is 42 they when I came on when I came into this earth they were the same age as I am now. You know what I'm saying? So they had 21 years, you know what I'm saying, to do to do what they do. I shouldn't be, you know, at 21 having to worry about how we're going to, you know, fixing this and doing that. And basically, like I said, doing their job. That's what I shouldn't have to worry about. And like I said, you know, that's how life goes, you know, in times. Because, you know, like I said, you know, fucking, I ain't grew up in a rich family. And I understand, you know, how it goes. You know, your parents work mad hard. And, you know, like I said, I'm thankful as fuck for my family. You know, my parents, like I said, just raising me up and getting me here. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I have no, 
oh, let me finish off this bowl. But you know what I'm saying? There's no grudge in it. Like I said, I see it. I understand it's not like my parents are just sitting on there. Hey, you know, that's especially, you know, I'm blessed to have two parents that's, you know, always worked hard all their life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm blessed as hell, you know what I'm saying? That I, you know, I'm not in the scenario. Like I said, I see friends. Like I got friends that, you know, they fucking, they have jobs. And, you know, like as soon as they get a job, like they don't have a chance to, you know, have build up a savings account and do this and that because, you know, as soon as they get the first check, half of it is going to this and that, the bills and what, just to the family. And then the other is going to, you know, whatever they have to handle. You know what I'm saying? So you can't even, it's hard to get a jump start on your own life. You know what I'm saying? Because you're still trying to build up over there. But let me hit this bow. So that's my only thing about it, man. Like I said, you know, I just wanted to talk to you guys about it. Because I don't, you know, anytime, like I say, anytime you have money, especially, you know, some of you are, you know, probably getting little tax refunds from your jobs that you got. And, you know, your pay, you know, your family, and just family. Don't even think about parents. Think about your family because your family, especially when you have money, will be the ones that manipulate you the most. They'll do it more to your friends, more than anything else, because they know at the end of the day, they're your fan. Because in their eyes, they're not finessing you. They're not stealing from you. They're not, you know, like, they're not, you know, necessarily stealing from you, but they're not doing you wrong. Because they see, oh, you know, you got money, you know, I'm I'm your cousin, I'm your mama, you know, I'm your this, I'm your dad. I love you, you know, they, they, they do genuinely probably love you, but at the same time, man, you know, it doesn't, they, like, money can, you know, money is a crazy thing. Money can stir up shit so like i said you know that's kind of my whole thing about it you know i didn't want anybody out there to be confused about that you know because you know I, or most of the people that watch me are you know my age younger a little bit older or whatever you know so you know i'm pretty sure you know most of you guys you know can relate to what i'm saying or can use what i'm saying later on in life and some of you probably already know what i'm saying and can agree or disagree or whatever you think about it you know what i'm saying but that's kind of my whole thing and like i said about the whole parent thing you know it just like because when i get up when I get to the age of bearing children, I'm saying like I'm young as fuck, but you know, I don't want to have children anytime soon, but you know, when I do have children and I bring them up in this world, you know, I don't want to, and like I said, I understand that, you know, you know, life just happens and she just, you know, that's how it goes, but you know, I don't want to have a kid in this world and you know, I have, they, ha I have to worry about them supporting me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I raised them up and then they have to support me or, you know, I, I have to struggle to support them or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to the parents, though, that make it happen. Because, like I said, I was born to this world. I got, I had a parent that made it happen, worked in, you know, a hustler. My parents are kind of hustlers, man. Both my parents just, you know, made it happen, literally. You know what I'm saying? So, I, you know, I, I have nothing to complain about. But that's kind of, like I said, just my whole thing about it, man. It's just making sure that, like I said, you don't let anybody, you know, try to manipulate you and don't, you don't manipulate yourself because like I said you know if I had you know a good amount of money you know it could be my second fourth seventh cousin you know third removed you know far away in the family you know if they were hurt doing pretty bad and I had the money you know I, I'm one of those type of people I feel a little bad you know what I'm saying? I'd make myself feel bad you know what I'm saying like it, it's just a weird thing about it. so you know just don't make yourself feel bad especially when you don't have to about things that you don't have to you know because and then like I said and like my whole point and that's why i'll probably wrap it up in you don't want to go broke yourself like trying to support someone else that's broke and this isn't like broke isn't a diss you know everybody's been broke before billionaires have been broke before but either way you don't want to you know have money and support someone else that's broke and then you go broke and then both of y'all broke you know what i'm saying so that's why i say it's kind of good sometimes with you to pull away from people who you know are just in a pattern of not having anything because then you can build yourself up and then the more that you build yourself up shit you can get to a point where you can give them you know whatever and it would never break you you know or you can do something that you know you can give them the cow you know so that they can have their own milk or you know what i'm saying so that's why i say you know don't you know help somebody in a pseudo way you know just in a small way don't help somebody just in those little bitty ways that'll keep you doing little bitty shit the whole time or you know don't even or you can look at it the other way don't don't help somebody you know in little big ways that's not gonna make okay look I'm not making sense here my whole point is man when you help somebody make sure you're helping somebody in a way that in the end will help you and help them you know what I'm saying cuz sometimes like if you give a man on the street a hundred dollars that may make you like a lot of times you give people stuff it makes you feel good or it helps you a lot more than it's helping them it's making you feel good about yourself 
You know what I'm saying? Sometimes giving is a really selfish thing. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, you gotta, it's all just things to, ain't none of us perfect, man. But it's all things that, you know, the more we think about it and the more that we, you know, work it into our everyday thoughts and everyday living, the better off we'll be. But yeah, man, you see how far we can ramble off off of some shit Soldier Boy did? But that's my whole thing about it. But never disrespect your parents, though. Soulja Boy kind of disrespected his mom all on Twitter and his little brother and shit. No matter what they do to you, say, yo, I mean, just, you know, keep all that, especially, like, this social media shit, I guess this is gonna be, like, the little sub lesson out of this, you know, don't, don't do that, you know, that, all that shit's corny, man, don't do that, cause it, 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 it doesn't help anything, but either way, man, love y'all, I'm up out of here, and, uh, chill, man, I don't know, I guess you about to watch another video after this, I don't know, I don't know what your video watching patterns be, but chill, man, I love y'all, man, so, uh, chill, I'm out of here.